What's up my friends and welcome to Techverse. In this video I'll show you how to make a inverter with just a few components. The circuit is rather simple as shown. The inverter is based on the unstable multivibrator, classic circuit based on two NPN transistors. So at the input you have your battery and the filter capacitor, all the values are shown. So then you have the two NPN transistors, you can use the ABC547, you can also use the 2N222 the 2N3904, even the BD139, whichever transistors that you have, just ensure that they are NPN. So all connections are shown, ensure that the resistors R1 and R2 are exactly the same, as well as R3 and R4, and the capacitors C2 and C4. This will ensure that the duty cycle on both cycles will be about 50%, and the values are shown, 4.7 kilo ohms and 2.2 microfarads for the timing resistant capacitor respect free, the frequency will be about 50 hertz. So what happens is that since no single transistors are exactly the same, one of these two will turn on first when the power is applied. So assuming Q1 turns on first, this means that Q2 will be off. And so the first MOSFET Q3 will conduct since 12 volts will appear at this gate. And when this conducts, current will flow from the 12 volts rail through the upper half primary winding through the MOSFET Q3 to ground. So when this capacitor changes and the voltage at the base of Q2 increases to more than 0.7 volts, Q2 will conduct and Q1 will turn off since this capacitor will discharge when the Q2 turns on and so this will cause Q3 to turn off but Q4 will conduct since this is will appear at the corrector of Q1 and the gate of Q4. So when this conducts current to flow from the 12 volts rail through the lower half primary winding through the MOSFET and to ground. So each MOSFETs have a um, voltage regulation, then are down, they are rated for 12 volts, connected across the gate and source. This protects the MOSFETs from any voltages above 12 volts and the gate and source. Since depending on the MOSFET you're using, it can blow your MOSFET. And you also have uh, the capacitors connected across the drain and source of each MOSFET to act as number arresters. So since this is acting as a push-pull driver, there will be some voltage spikes generated when the MOSFET are, are switching and this will cause inductive spiking. So the extra spikes are immediately shortened to ground through these capacitors and this protects the drain source channel of the MOSFETs from getting damaged. So the primary of the transformer and the second ray, basically the transformer is being used back to back. So and the ratio, if you want to 40 volts, the ratio is about 1 is to 20 to convert 12 to 240 volts. If you want about 120, the ratio should be about 1 is to 10. So meaning you can have about, on the primary signs, you can have about 20 turns on each side and 400 turns on the other side to get to 40 or half of that to get 120. So the PCB looks as shown. This is the entire PCB. In case you're interested, just comment below and I'll upload the PCB so that you can make your own PCB and project. And the final the review looks as shown. So you, here you have your um, stable generator circuit, the output power MOSFETs, the input goes here 12 volts, the input capacitor, and here are your connection to the three terminals of the transformer. So please don't forget to drop a like for this video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe to my channel for more future projects, and also click the notifications bell to get notified immediately when I upload new videos. And with that be said, that's all, and I wish you a nice time.